Okay, so here I am in Google Docs and I want to create a drawing. Uh, I want to create a concept map or a diagram of something. So I've opened up a new Google Doc and in this I'm going to insert a uh, drawing. That opens up a new drawing window for me and there's some wonderful tools in here that I can use to create my drawing. Uh, I'm going to do a concept map of a concept map. Uh, so in this case, I want to grab a, a first shape. I'm going to grab a rectangle. You can see there's a bunch of different shapes available. And put this one right at the top as my fiddle node. I'd like some text on top of that. So I'm going to grab the text tool and click the text box there. And say that this is a, a concept map. This is my primary node there. And hit Enter. And that will go in there. Maybe I'll put that right in the middle with my arrow key. So that's right on top of that. Well, a concept map has a couple of different attributes. One attribute that it has, and I'll select, um, we'll select just a simple uh, oval here. It has a, uh, uh, double click on it and add the lines. Uh, so a concept map has uh, lines as part of it, but it also has, I'm going to copy this whole uh, node with the text in it, copy and then paste it, and then drag it over to the side. It gives them, saves me a little time there and double click on it and change the text to nodes. So we can see that a concept map has both lines and nodes. Now we want to deal with the relationships between the different items in the in the concept map or the diagram that you're making. And that's where the arrows come in handy. So I'm going to say a concept map uh, has lines and the concept map also has nodes. So I've got the arrows to do that, but I'm also going to take some text and uh, I'm going to put the word has here. I'm going to get a lowercase there. Has and enter for that one. I'm going to change the font down to make this a little bit smaller because it's a relationship and scoot it down with my arrow key. I'll copy and paste that uh, and uh, use that again because I have the same word over in the other one here as well. So I've got a concept map that has lines and a concept map also has nodes, but the lines and the nodes have a relationship. So um, I'm going to grab my arrow key again here, my arrow tool, and I'm going to say that lines uh, and let's go back and grab some text here, copy and paste that down and change the text here as well. So I'm going to say relate um, pairs of nodes and hit the enter key and that changes that one. Scoot it down a little bit there. So I've used this insert drawing tool to create these different nodes uh, these different boxes or different items and then I can use the arrows and relationships uh, to relate how that system or diagram or concept map goes together. Um, I could use uh, a variety of different other things that I'm not uh, looked at yet like the, for instance the uh, squiggle tool I could use that one if I had a relationship that was a little bit more wavery and perhaps at the end of that add a, a, an arrow uh, that would be a little bit different maybe at the beginning of that add an arrow this way and perhaps it's even a a dotted relationship and perhaps something like that. I could change the wine width. I could uh, uh, play with the colors here and, and really kind of uh, do a lot of different things here that I'm not uh, showing you here, but I'm sure you can play around with them. I could add some photos uh, to my, um, instead of these diagram type things, I could show these as little graphics uh, that I could pull in from other places. So there's a lot of things that you can do in here to create very quickly um, the diagram or the concept map that you're interested in. When you're done, uh, you could hit the save and close button in the upper right here and that will save it right into your Google Doc so that you can save it and work on this later on um, or uh, save it in there and, and uh, type text around it or uh, don't forget this one here if I go down here and I say download this as a JPEG uh, so what I could do here is grab an image of just this thing and I'm going to save this uh, to my computer here so that now yep, good that's going down and um, I can save, I can add that as uh, right into a blog post that I might have if I'm looking to uh, share this diagram with someone else in a blog, in a web page, or someplace else. So there's a lot of ways I can do that. I'll click the Save and Close button, and you can see that diagram is now in my Google document, and I can uh, type around it. Uh, so I could spell correct properly, type around it with the text, with my report, uh, uh, etc. So uh, play around with it. It's a great tool to know how to use.